Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video today, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Fortnite on your school computer. So this is unblocked Fortnite at school, and this is absolutely insane. So you guys definitely want to make sure that you watch all the way through the video so that you guys don't miss anything, and so that I can teach you guys how to play Fortnite on your school computers. And so before I begin, I just want to make sure that you guys please leave a like and subscribe. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, and so I really want to reach that goal in a few months, or at least by the end of the year. And so if you guys could help me reach that goal, that would be great. Alright, I'm going to teach you guys how to play Fortnite at school. And so you guys don't have to download anything for this to work, you guys just have to watch my video. And so I'll show you guys everything that you guys need to know before you begin. And then I'll teach you guys how to set this up. You guys gotta make sure that you guys understand that this is a lengthy process and so if you guys are doing this at school on your school computer it might take a while so I advise that you guys just do this at home on your personal computer and then put everything in and set everything up at school and I'll teach you guys how to do that all. <clears throat> Alright let's get started. So what you guys need to do is go to googlemath.net and so this website has like 10 different URLs. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm going to link all the different URLs to this website down in the video description. So in case any of them get blocked for you guys or in case any of you guys end up having any issues with some of the domains. Like if you guys have any issues with googlemath.net, you guys can just try out the other domains in the video description if you guys need to. And so what you guys need to do is go to googlemath.net. And this website, it is essentially basically like a fancy Google Sites and it allows you to play different games that normally don't work on Google Sites. So there's some games that just can't run on Google Sites, but this website lets you play those same games, but they actually work. So it's really cool. So go, go to googlemath.net and the first issue that you guys might run into is that it doesn't even work. So the servers for this website are, I'm pretty sure, free servers, so they're not that good. Um, they're pretty laggy at times, and sometimes it might not even work. So sometimes what you guys might see is you guys might see a message that says failed to fetch. You guys might see a message that says error 403. And where you guys might say might see a message that says the domain cannot be found or the IP cannot be found and if you guys see any of these messages do not panic I'll teach you guys what to do in case that happens because this is a really common issue so what you guys need to do if it says failed to fetch or any kind of issue reload the site a bunch of times I know it sounds simple but it works you guys just gotta keep on clicking reload and eventually it's gonna connect to the servers and if you guys still have issues with it what you guys can do is just close that tab and open a new tab with googlemath.net and just try again that way and if you guys keep on doing this you guys are going to eventually get into the page and once you guys get in I'm going to teach you guys what to do next so once you're here it's going to say google math it's going to say these different things and what you guys are going to need to do is look at the top left you see this button that says games you guys are going to want to click at games click on the games button like what I'm doing right now Okay, so you guys have clicked on that. What's going to happen now is you guys are going to need to scroll down and it's going to show you guys a list of games. You guys can play the other games if you want to. A lot of these I actually have issues with playing, so a lot of these don't even work, unfortunately. But right now what we want to do is only pay attention to this uh, game that says GeForce Now. Okay, this is the page that lets you play Fortnite. So what you guys need to do is on your school computers, go and click GeForce Now or if you guys are at home you guys can do this also it works both ways and I explain how at the end of the video so click GeForce Now from that little menu there and then what you guys want to do is to click the button in the middle of the screen that says play.geforcenow.com click it once and then just wait on your school computers it might be pretty laggy you might you might not even think that it's uh, loading but it is so you guys just want to give that a second, let it go to the next page. So now it has officially went to GeForce Now, and 
So G Force now is really cool. It's what, it's what's gonna let you guys play Fortnite. And the reason why we went to GoogleMath.net in the first place is because GoogleMath.net has an unblocked version of GeForce Now. Because GeForce Now doesn't work on Google Sites and it's really hard to get unblocked. So this website, um, they managed to unblock GeForce Now and that's great. That's what's going to let us play Fortnite. Alright, so what you guys need to do is go to the top right now and click Sign In. Now I'm already signed in. In, I'm gonna click log out for you guys right here and walk you guys through the process of signing in or if you guys need to you guys can sign up and I'll teach you guys how to do that all right I'm logging out right now all right we, we can close this tab all right so what you guys are gonna see right now is a sign in button right you guys want to click that button the sign in button right there all right it's gonna open a new tab you guys want to go to that new tab and you see it says log in with GeForce Now provider. You guys are want to click the NVIDIA button right there. Click that button. And all right, now you guys are going to have to sign in. And if you guys don't have an NVIDIA account, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, what you guys are going to have to do if you don't have an NVIDIA account is you guys are going to have to create one. And it's kind of a hard process. So what you guys are going to want to do is use your personal email account make sure you guys use your personal email account if you guys use your school email it messes everything up and it might honestly ruin Fortnite. it might not even work if you guys use your school email so make sure that you guys use your personal email it's gonna make it a lot easier so i'm just gonna quickly cut ahead to once i have officially logged in all right guys so i'm officially logged in now and what essentially happens is once you log in uh, GeForce Now sends you an email to your email account. So this is why you guys need a personal email address because you can't send emails to school email accounts. So when you guys have log in, you guys are gonna have to use the two-factor authentication because NVIDIA forces you guys to. And so it's gonna send you an email that says authenticate or something similar. Just click authenticate and it's gonna allow you to log in on your computer. So once you're logged in, you guys can close this tab and then return to GeForce Now. And if you guys needed to create an account, then just click uh, sign up and it'll walk you guys through the process. It's going to be slightly longer for you guys that don't have NVIDIA accounts. But all you guys have to do is just sign up and create an NVIDIA account and then log in. And once you guys are logged in with those new NVIDIA accounts, um, just resume the video right here all right so once you guys are logged in to GeForce now what you guys want to do is you guys want to find the button that says Fortnite so it's my library right now and these are games that I play anyway and if you guys can't find Fortnite you guys want to scroll down to the free to play section and then just click on the image right here and it's gonna bring up this Fortnite tab and what you guys want to do is click play and now what we are essentially doing is we're playing a game through the cloud so the way that you're able to play Fortnite through your your school computer is that you're essentially connecting to Nvidia servers and you're using the school Wi-Fi to basically play games using their computers so NVIDIA computers are going to be doing all the processing. All you guys have to do is just play the game and stay connected to the internet. So it's really easy. You guys don't have to download anything. But the only issue is that since you guys aren't going to be paying for GeForce Now, you guys are going to have to wait. So think of it as like a wait list for accessing their servers. So essentially what you're doing is waiting for a spot in their servers because NVIDIA doesn't have enough space for everybody. And what they have to do is they have to have a wait list. So you guys are gonna have to get in the queue and eventually you're gonna be next in line to get access to the servers. And so what you guys are gonna have to do in school is just hang tight and wait there until it says this loading page. And then you guys are gonna be able to jump right into the game. All right. So it's just loading here right now. It's loading Fortnite up right there. Like, like that, let me turn down the volume on this tab. I don't want it to be too loud. All right. And let's just wait for it to load. 
I am recording so it's probably gonna take a little bit longer and yeah so you guys just have to you know have this tab open and so it wants to use my microphone I'm going to block that for now so guys unfortunately my video software just cut out right there real bummer um, apparently it can't handle me going into full screen Fortnite, so I'm just not going to do that in this video, unfortunately, guys. Also, guys, I just realized that I completely forgot to tell you how to sign into Fortnite. So once the game loads, what you guys are going to have to do is click sign in with Epic Games. So it's going to prompt you to sign in to Fortnite before you can actually play. So what you guys are going to have to do is go and click any of the buttons that work best for you so if you guys want to sign in with Google if you guys want to sign in with any other platform or anything and you guys have that somehow connected to your school computers use that otherwise just click sign in with Epic Games and then enter in your Epic Games username and password and click sign in and it's just gonna sign you in just like that guys and it's going to allow you to play Fortnite and do everything that you'd normally do and if you guys apparently some of you guys do get this if you guys get a prompt before you click play where it says sign into epic games then just sign into epic games guys it's just that simple so sign into epic games if it ever prompts you to sign in with epic games and enjoy the rest of the video play Fortnite in school can you guys just send them send your friends the link to this video it helps support the channel and it'll teach them exactly how you guys play Fortnite in school on your school computers. And so that's really just about it. If you guys want to help the channel, share the video, share it around if you're real school, so you guys can all play Fortnite at school. And that's about it. And guys, I also want to tell you guys that my Discord server, it's only like 50 members away from a thousand members. And so I really want you guys to help me get my Discord server to a thousand members. That'd be great if you guys did that. So just join my Discord server and if you guys join, there's memes and stuff. And also I can give you special help if you guys need any help with this video or other tutorials. I can give you help in real time if you just contact me on my Discord server. So go join that. It's definitely worth your time. And just one more thing, I also have new merch on my merch store, it's caswire.com. The link to it is also in my channel uh, about section. And yeah, I have a bunch of cool artwork here. Um, I own it all, it's all mine. So you guys definitely should check out my merch store and be get something, it's all pretty cool. And so that's about it. Um, thank you guys for definitely getting to the end of this video. And if you guys need any more help, just contact me. But yeah, that's about it. This is how you play Fortnite on your school computer. Unblocked, everything. It's really crazy. So that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, see ya.